Oh wait, oh my god. Thank god I'm not good at math. I, I thought for a second we needed 200 constructors and I was like, wait, what? Welcome back everybody to another episode of the Satisfactory Playthrough series. Today we are totally redoing our Iron Factory. We're gonna finish this baby. This is probably the biggest, craziest upgrade that we've done in a while since our steel factory. We have a total of 1400 almost, like 1360 or something, iron ingots per minute now. If you missed the last episode, go check that out. The playlist will be linked in the description as well as in a card above this video. And in that last episode, we laid out more than 50 <laughs> smelters at a bunch of different iron sites. And all of that is traveling into this stack of storage boxes. So these containers here are our buffer where all of those lines meet. And we're gonna be pulling from these today to set up our new iron factory which is what i'm standing on so that was all done in the last episode in this episode where we've calculated everything that we have in the assembly super center so we know exactly how much of each iron product we need actually let, let's flip over to that really quick let me show you all right so i don't know if you guys have ever nerded out this much on a game i haven't done this since diablo three probably when I was trying to calculate like how much damage reduction you got from different stats like armor. But anyway, let me know if you want in on this spreadsheet. Basically, I just started this item tracker, which on this particular tab, it's like an inventory. So we start with like what factory we're in or what machine making what item and how many of each of these we have. And from that, we're able to calculate like the total output of these items. And then for the various inputs required for these recipes, we have the amounts of each of those inputs and then the total input based on how many of that machine you have. So this is just like a quick way to track how much materials we need. I have another tab over here for the recipes. So for example, for the reinforced plates, that breaks down into X number of plates and screws. And so with a total of 12 reinforced plates that we require per minute we can calculate down to the raw materials that we need and i haven't really like finished this tab but basically when you break all of that down uh we have around a thousand screws that we need per minute and with our new recipe we can go directly from ingots to screws we don't need to make rods anymore so I mean, we need rods, but we don't need them to make screws. So that requires a total of 247.5 ingots to make the screws that we need. For the iron plates, we need 409.5 and iron rods, 285. So these are our totals here. And for the ingots, like if you just break everything down to raw ingots, uh, we require 1390.5 ingots per minute. That's a lot of ingots. Thankfully, we can now supply that with our dope new iron factory. So let's hop back into the game and uh, let's get started with this episode. But before that, make sure to hit the like button if you enjoyed this episode, subscribe if you're new here and let's get on with it. So what I'm thinking to do with the iron factory is build up. We're going to add a floor for each basic iron product. So the first floor is just going to be iron plates, second floor is going to be rods, and the third floor is going to be screws. And then anything that comes down the line from that, as long as it's a dedicated like iron product, we will make it here as well on an upper floor and then ship that out to the assembly center. So let's get started. My recording kind of paused, but basically I already laid out these 10 constructors here and they're already hooked up to that first box and I'm just going to mirror this. So kind of like we did in the copper factory, I'm going to have uh, 10 on that side and 10 on this side and then their, their outputs are going to merge down the middle there. Yeah, let's do it. All right, so we're almost done with the first level. We've got 
20 constructors now making plates and I realized that, uh, so the output here is 400 plates per minute. We actually require uh, 410, just barely above 400. So I wanted to add another line of constructors or definitely at least one more constructor so that we have the minimum plates, but then, you know, there'll be room for expansion. The problem is that the left side of this uh, first floor is a little too tight because I need two at least two tiles back here to do the routing. I don't really want to extend this building much more because it's already close to that copper building. So what I'm going to do is actually expand this side of the factory since we have the clearance to just build over this. I don't know what it's going to look like. I don't know if I'll like it yet if this whole thing's covered because it looks kind of awesome how massive it is but let's just give ourselves the extra real estate and see if see if we like it. All right, well, we expanded it and um, we don't need that much more room. We don't need to go any further, I think. Uh, so the bottom floor isn't completely covered. It's actually not bad, I guess. So I think we'll do that. And then that'll just give us way more room for expansion in the future. So yeah, we're gonna add one more row here and then we'll be done with the first floor. All right, so now we're getting now we're getting somewhere. I'm getting freaking carpal tunnel and slash arthritis, a combination of both in my hands. Let's get a bird's eye view here, huh? We ended up adding an entire third set of 10. So now we have 30 constructors, which is definitely overkill. But on this last row, we only have a recipe set for this very first constructor, and we're gonna leave the rest idle until we need them. So we have exactly a little bit more than we need with our current uh, assembly center but this is good for now we're gonna go ahead and add the next floor and get the rods going all right so we've got our second floor set up and it's time to get some constructors for the rods going let me just remind myself here with my little cheat sheet how many we actually need so we need 285 iron rods per minute let's see how many each one produces by the way we do have this alternate recipe but i feel like I've done all the calculations for the iron and I think we can get enough iron to make the rods that we need right now without using having to use steel. But at some point, if we do need more iron, we could always switch to a steel recipe here for the rods and make that in the steel factory. So this is 12 steel ingots to 48 iron rods holy crap that is so much more efficient you get four times whereas this is just one to one. Oh my god um yeah we need to rethink that that makes so much more sense to be producing the, the iron screws then i mean the iron rods so maybe maybe we'll leave that for the next episode we can set up a uh, constructors to go directly to the cast screws so this is 12.5 ingots to 50 screws per minute let's see what the original recipe was so it's 10 to 40 and this is one to one so this is for from ingots i mean if you were to go the ingot route it would be 10 ingots to 10 rods and then you have a 4x output to 40 screws go this way it's it's still just as efficient actually so yeah we can we can just do the cast screws here so we said we're gonna need around a thousand screws which means we need a thousand screws oh my goodness and each of these is only producing 50 then we need wait what are you kidding me that's so many screws oh wait oh my god thank god i'm not good at math i i thought for a second we needed 200 <laughs> constructors and i was like wait what but no it's actually just 20. that wouldn't have made any sense i don't know why i thought that anywho let's uh let's go ahead and throw down the screw line so we don't need as much space i think we'll start on this side i guess and leave room for expansion in the future and we're gonna do the same back-to-back uh, -back setup. By the way, I set up these two uh, ceiling lights because I wanted to test it out. And this is seriously lacking. And this is so underwhelming. Like, 
the spot size that this light lights up is so small it's literally just directly under it so you would have to have basically the lights covering the entire ceiling for it to be effective and um and then they're like this really harsh white like everything's just drowned out it just doesn't look great so i i don't know i might just might just like suffer in the dark at this rate or i don't know maybe convert everything to glass here and hope that the moonlight does a better job like in our assembly center that's another that's another way to go what do you guys think about the lights do they work for you does it tickle your fancy or is it something that you feel like the game could do a much better job in too all right all right so this is looking pretty epic we have 20 constructors now making screws giving us exactly 1000 screws per minute and that's 500 coming out of either side which means a single level 4 belt can't catch all that so we have a level 1 for the 10th constructor on either side and uh, each side is being fed into its own little buffer so we've got two in parallel here and basically wherever we need screws we'll pull from these four outputs so now that we've uh hooked all of this up this this looks good we need to hook everything up to power that's the last thing and then on the first floor where we're making the plates we're gonna make a buffer as well and hook everything up to power and and we should be ready to rock and roll all right so the first floor with our iron plates is all hooked up and see all the greens and on that very third row again we just turned one of those constructors on that's the one at the very end over there the rest are idle but that's for future needs if we ever get there which i'm sure we will <laughs> i wouldn't put it past us at this point we've gone through so many iterations of each of our factories and this one is a pretty pretty scalable one here i think because we still have so much room to expand out that way and again the way we set it up with uh, all of our different iron mines meeting up at one input over here that feeds into this entire factory that's going to allow us to scale as we need to by just bringing in more iron so yeah this looks great we're going to head up to the second floor now so the first floor is good this line right here is obviously uh <laughs> just coming all from one constructor that's why it's so slow but yeah let's head up to the next floor and hook all of these babies up to power all right, so our top floor is now all running. Whoa, some autosave lag. And uh, holy moly, look at these screws flow. This is the highest, obviously, output of screws we've ever had, and it's amazing. No overclocking necessary. The only way we were surviving on just, how many did we have back here? We had one, two, three, four, five, six constructors making screws before. That was supplying all of the screws to our entire assembly factory. Just six constructors, and now we have 20. Those were, of course, all overclocked to the max. That's the only way we were surviving but now we have more screws than I think we need for sure and so in the future when we need even more screws we'll be able to expand again out here and for the iron rods we're actually going to switch over to steel rods because that's a way more efficient recipe and we're going to be doing that uh, in the next episode at the steel factory so let's take a look at our power and i'm so happy that we did the power upgrades when we did because yeah we just shot up <laughs> by so much we're at 4800 megawatts in our max consumption now but you can see we have a nice steady line and our capacity is still much much higher than these peaks so we should be good um of course the entire assembly line or not entire some of it's just like running on copper and steel but there's a lot of uh, stuff in here that was using iron products that's currently idle since we disconnected that iron line so once we hook everything back into the assembly center next episode um, our power should shoot up again and hopefully we're still good since we did those fat upgrades but we'll see we may have to add even more fuel generators that is going to do it for today's episode in the next episode like i said we're going to hook up the assembly factory again get rid of all of this and demo the old iron factory and yeah it should be a good one hope you guys enjoyed this episode if you did make sure to hit the like button and i hope to see you in the next one peace